and for today I'm going to be showing you guys some kits that I have available for sale. There's a total of 14 of these kits and these are boho little charm kits. So you'll be able to make something like that. Of course you're not going to get that cap. You'll make you'll get a, a cap that's similar to that. Um, and then you'll be able to make a bigger one. So in total you should be able to make at least three to four boho beads. Um, the first one we have, I'm going to go here. This is like the pinkish kind of a theme with a little bit of blue and it has a little bit of purple. Um, and you'll get get everything you need to make a beautiful boho kit. So you'll get some fibers. This one has this fiber which is a pinkish dark color and you'll have this fiber and they're all a yard. You'll get this purplish lavender color fiber and of course this one this is my favorite like a cranberry color fiber and there's um, um, a yard of each colors that I put together and then you'll get a little pack that has all your jump rings, your eye, eye pins, some beads, some bead caps and um, some fiber fabrics to um, put together. I'm just going to briefly, they're all a little different and the reason that they're different, I'm going to, let's see, let's, let's figure out a way to do this. Well, yeah. So you'll get some paper like this, a 6 by 12, two pieces, because um, you need that to wrap around. If you look at my video that I did the other day where I created my boho beads, um, you'll be able to see how I took a 2 inch by 12 inch strip of paper, rolled it around, and I made a bead nugget, bead nugget, um, like this. And this is what you'll use. Um, to be able to get one of your boho beads. So just make sure you um, click on the link below. I'll make sure I put it in the description, that video, so you can get an idea of how to put one of these kits together. You'll be able, there's plenty in these little kits. Of course, they're all different um, as far as beads and um, paper and fabrics and fibers. But you'll be able to make at least three or four boho beads okay um, and they got plenty of beads plenty of um, bead caps to make to make beautiful boho sorry um, beads so there's those bead caps that's a beautiful one there that again they're all different entirely different you get a little dangle, a little butterfly piece here that you can you can attach this to your wire. Um, here's a little another bead. Um, there's this little one here as well. You can stick your eye pin through what I mean. You can definitely you get your eye pins in there. And you can put your bead nugget and then um, you'll have to size these up to work around, but basically, um, or you can dangle um, with one of these eye pins and then stick it in the eye pin, which is what I would do, and then dangle it at the bottom of your boho bead. So it's, a, it's entirely up to you, but you get plenty of little charms for dangles on each of these. There's another bead cap. Um, there's the matching bead cap for that one and there's some spacers um, again like I said you got some eye pins so you can do your little charm dangles um, and I use this one on let's see sorry 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 oh where did I use it I used it on one of these little babies Actually used it. I actually used it. Um, see. Right here. You can use it on even on a paper clip. That's what I use. It just put one of your um, um, loops in there. So you got some jump rings, um, different colors of jump rings, 
Um, they all coordinate, like I said, they all coordinate. So I have a total of five of this pinkish color. So in the comment section, um, just make sure you comment below and tell me which one you want. Either you want the pink one that has the pink CB pack, the purple one or the green one, which is the Christmassy one, and I'll show you that one. Um, this one I did put a little snowflake charm on it because um, you can have a pink Christmas. Some people like a pink Christmas. So you have all these little cute charms in there and beads to make little um, uh, little dangling charms. And then you have tons of little bead caps. Of course, you're not going to really use, you don't need to use all the bead caps. It's entirely up to you how you do it. There's tons of videos on YouTube, but if you um, click on the description, I'll make sure that um, you'll see the one that I put together. Now, like I said, there's tons of little, there's some jump rings, some spacers, lots of little spacers, lots of little embellishments for you to create something beautiful and something amazing out of all this. So you can see, and then you have like on this pink one, you have this little fiber. Basically, once you have your bead nugget, you wanna size your fabric for your bead nugget, and you wanna roll it in, and then you take your other little fibers, you trim it, so you'll have enough to make another bead nugget this size, um, trim it to size, and then add your fibers, wrap it around. So you have that one in that color. With this one, you can make two because you got plenty there. Actually, you can make plenty with all these little fibers and then you can do that one as well. That's a pretty big chunk if you didn't want to use those colors and you just want to be pretty in pink. Um, and then you'll have that paper, which is a six by 12, and you can make, um, uh, cut, them up to, cut them up to size. I would cut it based on how big you want your bead nugget. And then you get some wire to wrap around your beads like um let's see you can take your seed beads add them up and wrap it around with the little thin bead wire and then you'll have some mod pod and you'll have um oops, i'm getting stuck there a little a toothpick so you can roll up your paper once you've cut it to size like i did in my video and be, your bead nugget. Now this wire here, it's so that you can make a longer boho bead like this. Um, it's very simple. Again, you just kind of put it in and you'll wrap it up. Um, and that just makes you, uh, it allows you to make a longer one. So then you have a cap, of course, a little thing of um, Mod Podge to seal your, um, your paper. You need to make sure you seal that paper. That's important. Put that back. That goes back here. So this is the pink one. I have five of these. And then that, that's mine. And then let me show you real quickly um, the purple one. And that one I'll have four. That's my bead nugget. I'll get that. Um, I said they have different amounts of charms, but they're basically um, all jam packed that you can make at least, at least um, three to four of the boho beads. I, I would probably say four boho beads because you got enough to make. Um, three of these with the caps and then you got the, the wire, the big wire. So you, you can make, you know, three to four of these easily, if not more five. I mean, you, you got plenty here, plenty, plenty here to make your boho beads. So, all right, so that's the pink. I guess I could put it aside and just move on. I just don't want all my charms to kind of roll off when I pull out the other one. And you can comment below, tell me um, which one you want, contact me on Facebook. Um, 
and let me know which one you're interested in. And um, I will, it's, um, they're each $35 plus shipping and these will fit into a small flat rate envelope. I'm only doing flat rate. Reason being is because of the security of shipping. You guys know we've had some issues with shipping across the U.S. So um, that is the reason why I've chosen to do only flat rate. And it's only U.S. U.S. only. I'm not shipping international uh, currently. Okay. So um, let's get this one. In here. $35 each plus shipping and I think these are wonderful little you can make little little ones for gifts okay so this is the purple one I'm not going to pull all the beads out um, and I got five of the purple and sorry for the crinkling just mute me in there this one has the silver thread wire and it has um, a six by 12 purple and the papers are different the colors I mean so you might have one that's po polka dots and you might have a purple that's not so polka dot um, so the paper might be a little different but the same color scheme this one has a little bit of uh, blue tones to it um, so I kind of coordinated um, these tones together so you get this little bluish fiber um, the, purple lavender fiber, um, this kind of burgundy color, and then this uh, ivory with blue fiber. They're all a, a yard each. And then you'll have um, little blue beads, purple beads, and then here's your fibers on this one. You have this one. Again, you'll have to cut your paper to size. You'll have this smaller size. So this one's a little bit, the fabric is a little bit smaller, but you still be able to make um, um, your, your small size. Um, at least you should be able to make, a, be able to make um, two of the small ones. And you could possibly make two of the, a total of four of the little ones if you make it this size. And then with the bigger wire and this one, you can make a longer one. Um, Actually, you can you can make a total of about four of these. You know, there's plenty of what to go around. So I hope I didn't confuse you. I confuse myself sometimes. All right, so we're gonna put that in there, and and then of course you get your um, your glue, your your wire, and your seed beads. So yeah, you should be able to make three to um, three to four of these easily. The other one, I have only four of those. Those are the Christmas color ones, and that one I only have four, and I jam packed that one. But again, they're thirty-five dollars each plus shipping. So again, there's only four of these. Uh, this one has, oops, I kind of caught there, has the copper colors, but it has all these beautiful, it has this green one. This one only has three colors of fibers, three yards of fibers. This green one, that green one, and that red one. That one was a little harder to find fibers that were Christmassy. Um, but the fabric, that I picked for this was really pretty. I'll just show you the fabric. There's tons and tons of beads in there. <clears throat> and it has a beautiful little snowflake charm. So here you have this piece of fabric. Again, you can make the bigger boho bead or you can cut it in, in half, make two boho beads out of it actually. Um, and then you have this one. It has that beautiful colors. Again, you can probably make two out of that one. Um, and then you have this one here. You can make a small one. You can use that side because it has all the fibers, or you can use this side, whichever. And then here you can also either make the larger one or two of the small, smaller ones. 
So that's that. And now all the little jump rings and eyelets that you need. And of course the papers are all different, but they all had the green um, Christmassy toned colors on there. Again, two pieces that are six by 12 on that. So this one I only have four of these kits. So um, if you're interested in these kits, comment below or send me a message on Facebook and um, I'll figure out the shipping for you and invoice you once um, once you let me know what your address and shipping address. And again, we're not shipping overseas on these just because it's just too much um, with the shipping right now. So it's all flat rate. So um, the shipping, I actually, I, I shouldn't have to estimate. The shipping um, is $8.40, I believe, is the shipping, the small flat rate. So we'll put it there. And that's the only way I will ship because of the issues that the Postal Service is having. Um, so it's 35 plus the 840, I believe it's the shipping or 875. I've got to double check. Don't quote me on the shipping. I think it's either 840 or 875. I know the shipping went up. Um, I just got to double check. Um, so it's 35 plus the shipping on each. So there's four of the green, five of the purple, and five of the pink. Just comment below. Let me know which one you guys want. And I'll be happy to um, ship it out to you. Okay, guys. So I hope you guys um, like these kits. And um, stay tuned for my next upcoming kits that I'll be putting out for Christmas. Until next time, guys. Be safe. Be well. God bless. Bye-bye.